Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is chapter 128 of Gains, and this one is titled Back to the Grind. Okay, Mum, I'll see you then. You said with another smile to your boys and mentor. Love you, Mum. Bye. Your mum said her goodbyes, and then you hung up the phone and smiled at them all. Sorry, that was Mum, as you heard. You said with a little chuckle. I've been meaning to ask, how's she doing? Kiri asked you. She's in the health retreat now, right? Yeah, you replied. She's doing really well, and everyone's really lovely to her there. I'm happy she's in a good place. Was your mother not in a good place? Fat Gum asked curiously. My apologies for prying, but I do care about her well-being, even if I don't know her. Oh, it's fine, he said quickly. You did actually meet her once, but I don't expect you to remember meeting her. It was ages ago. She's a big fan of yours, actually, he added. Oh, well, if there's anything I can do to help, he offered. You just say the word and I'll do it. That's really kind. Thank you so much. I might take you up on that offer. I feel like somehow you might be able to give her a little morale boost, you said with a smile. So she's been unwell, he asked. Yeah, it's a very long story of which I only know parts of, he said with a small sigh. But she fell very ill just before I started interning with you. Her physical health was on the line, but it appears that she's getting back on her feet now. I'm very glad to hear it, he said with a smile. Send her my regards and tell her I'm rooting for her. Oh, I definitely will do that, he said with a smile. She will love that. Thank you, Fat Gum. The conversation continued on a little until you arrived at the station near the school, and then you all got off with you, Bakugo and Kiri sticking together to sign off from Fat Gum for the day. Okay, he said, placing his hands on his hips. Go home and have some rest for the rest of the day. You've earned it. It was supposed to be a three-day mission, but you completed it in one afternoon. And then we've come back early, so take this as a reward for a job well done, and I'll see you tomorrow at the office for another day of patrolling. Thank you, you all said, and he grinned. Keep up the great work, he replied, turning away and waving as he walked off down the street. What a crazy experience, you said to your boys, and you all turned and started dragging your bags towards the bus stop that would take you to the gates of Heights Alliance. What are you going to do this afternoon, Yin? Kerry asked you as you walked side by side. Well, I have a little bit of time before I go to see Mum, so I should probably go and check in with Ori. I haven't told her yet that I used my quirk for about 40 minutes continuously, you said, looking from Kiri to back ago to tell him. He smirked. Like I said, that'll impress her, he replied. You smiled to yourself. How far you had come. It was a great feeling. Once back at Heights Alliance, you three entered the quiet dorms and walked to the elevator to go to your rooms. I wonder how the rest of the class is doing, you asked out loud. You hadn't heard from any of them about their intern experiences, but you figured you'd hear all about it when they got back. After a quick goodbye to the boys, you went to your room to change and get your gym stuff and head out again. Hey, you greeted one of the heroes as they walked out of the gym while you were entering, grabbing your keycard ready to swipe as you walked to the gate. Good afternoon, Yin, the hero greeted you brightly. Well done on that rescue, that was a wonderful effort. Oh, you said with surprise. Thank you, it was a team effort though. You're a humble hero, he said with a smile. Glad to have you on the team. Thank you, he replied with a grin, stepping past him to enter the gym. You walked through the corridor and down the end, passing more heroes on the way as you made your way down to the back where Ori usually trained. Good work, Yin, a female hero said as she passed you. Hey, I saw you on the news the other day, another hero said. You did great in that rescue. Oh, you're so kind, but we all did it. It wasn't just me, you tried to say. More and more people came to praise you or just thank you for a job well done and it was starting to get a little overwhelming until Ori stepped in. Okay, okay, she said firmly as she pushed a few people aside. If you train as hard as Yin does, then maybe one day you'll get on her level. Let's go, people, back to work now or I'll report you to your trainers, she said, and you chuckled as people dispersed. Thanks, Ori. You're the last person I was expecting to come to my rescue there, you said with a chuckle. And what's that supposed to mean? She asked with an eyebrow raise of defiant surprise. No, I mean, you don't usually come to my rescue. You let me fight through it myself. I'm just being honest, you said. She stood there for a second looking at you. Yeah, okay, fair. She finally relinquished, and you grinned. But I've done super well. You'll be proud of me, you said as you followed her back to the training mats. Will I? She asked dubiously. I don't know. Did you give it your all? Um, I'd like to think I did, you said, thinking back to when you were pushing yourself so hard that you passed out. Come here, she said, and you immediately got suspicious. Um, you're not hiding one of those zap rods on you, are you? You asked suspiciously. I've fallen for that one before. No, I'm not, she said. I want to read your quirk output over the last two days. Wait, what? You asked with surprise as you followed her over to a machine that was like a cylinder that you stepped up into. You can do that? 
Yes, she replied with confusion. Why are you surprised by this? This isn't a new thing. Well, it is to me, he said in awe as he got up into the cylinder once she beckoned you to do so. Any last words? She asked cheekily with a lopsided smirk. This is like a lie detector of sorts. If you tell me that you went all out and you actually haven't gone all out, I'll know. Um, to my knowledge, I went beyond plus ultra. Cross my heart, he said honestly, and she nodded. You appear to be very confident of this fact. Okay, I'm going to close the door and the scanner will swipe up your body, she dictated. It'll take about five minutes and then I'll let you out and we can see what the cylinder orb says. Whew, okay, he said, blowing your cheeks out a little with mild worry. Ooh, do we have anything to be concerned about? We will have to see what happens in chapter 129 tomorrow. I'll see you then.